Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We've got about a little over a thousand people watching right now at live.perillo.com. About to boot up the Mac Pro for the first time. And this is when we're going to find uh, whether or not I installed the new hardware correctly or not. Whether the uh, Mac shipped all happy-like or not. Uh, are you ready? Here we go. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Three main engines up and burning. Two, one, and lift off. We have power. We have sound. We have screen. We have logo. Where's the applause? That's it? Beautiful. That's it? That's it? That's all I get. Yay! Roar the crowd! We're all too jealous to say anything. The crowd's too jealous? Well, so far so good. Well. Detected two screens. Oh no, blue screen. Ah! No, what I want to stay away from is a kernel what panic. Okay, it's saying connect the batteries. Did that. Turned her on. And that, it makes nice big pictures for you, too. So now she's blinking green a few times. The, the the mouse that is. And now she says I've got control. And now we'll use English for the main language. Yeah, unfortunately, I gotta wait until I get, like, actual, real good speakers. <sighs> Can you hear it back there? My uh, speakers are still on order. I'll be getting those in, uh, well, in a few days, really, with the Toslink cable, pure digital. I'll be replacing these speakers. Probably selling them for like 50 bucks or something like that. Oh, searching for my keyboard. Okay, great. Boy, I wish I had those speakers. I should have gotten them beforehand. Oh, well. Did I get her? Oh, and then enter. Duh. Pairing is complete. Of course, that's kind of bright for you guys, isn't it? Let me see if I can... No, that's about it. United States. Ireland. So there you go, data lore. Do you already own a Mac? Do not transfer my information right now. I'll just set her up cleanly. Enter your Apple ID. You know, even though it's small, it's still pretty full screen. I mean, full feel. The key, the little dinky keyboard. I love that thing. And I've kind of been used to typing on the, uh, on the uh, the MacBook keyboard or the MacBook Pro, and uh, take a snapshot. It works. It, it, you see it? It's got me here. I'm sorry you can't see it on this screen because that apparently the, is the first monitor I'll have to flip in, in the Mac here. Take a snapshot. Take a video snapshot. Here we go. There we go. And I can zoom her in or zoom her around. You got to put that on Flickr. Can you see her from there? You can see her. All right, that's good enough. That's about as good as it's going to get.
become a full member now. I actually have purchased .Mac. Um, hang on. I just got this thing the other Where did I put that Doc Mac subscription? Where the hell did I put that? I just got it the other day in the Did I put it in here? I did. doesn't even come with a disc, it's just an activation key. And Apple stickers. So now I'm going to become a versus dot Mac. I want to enter an activation key. The activation key is 8SH56. I'll just stop reading that out loud. Why? Once I enter it, it's no use to anybody else. I think it's your serial number. Not really. Complete your Mac registration. Oh. I don't want to ruin my Mac automatically next year. Oh, I don't want to enter a card information. Do I have to? Why can't you just take PayPal? This is kind of janky. I guess I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Wait a minute, my iTunes account is already paired with PayPal. Why do I have to enter in, uh, you know, second information? Okay, I'm just, just going along with it, doing the whole Mac experience thing. However, I, I don't think that was right for them to do. Of course, I'm sure they're doing it for a reason, but to lock me in. Multiple country, multiple counties, ah, counties, king. Online storage, 100 megs, 100 megs, 100 gigs. <sighs> your computer will automatically be configured with your Mac account. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, you. Uh, by the way, my UPS is louder than the uh, Mac Pro. And damn. Okay, we we need to change some resolution here. Oh, I need I I was right clicking. Unfortunately, I need to configure the right click on this mouse. Uh, let's see here, mouse, 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 mouse. Primary button, secondary button. Expose all windows. Scrolling vertical horizontal. Okay, so now I've got a secondary button. Bluetooth, I'm good. Keyboard shortcuts, I'm good. Show all. Displays. Okay, let's bump this mother up. 2560 by 1200. And over here, 2560 by nice. 1200. Now, what I'm going to it's do... It's as if a million voices cried out in terror. Now, what I'm going to do is change the arrangement. So I'm going to make this one my primary monitor simply by dragging. Here, let me show you. I'll control zoom in so you can see it. Um, the only thing you need to do to change primary monitor from one to the other is drag the menu bar item from one icon to the other. Or let's say this monitor was actually a little higher. I can click and drag the monitor up. That's, that's a lot like Windows. What's not like Windows is the um, intuitiveness of dragging the menu bar over. In fact, it was so intuitive, you might remember from an earlier video. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do it. <laughs> okay, and the next thing I want to do is calibrate these monitors, even though it, it, they're, they're, I mean, they're set. The monitor's, the monitor's about right. Uh, I think it's a, they're a little too bright. Next, set the brightness control. I don't really have a brightness control on the monitor, but I, let's go back. I don't need any extra options. I just want to change the gamma. 2.2 television gamma. Oh, much more rich. Native white. Del calibrated done. 
I like uh, it's a little too for me. Um, I I like setting the gamma just a little uh, a little closer to the way it is on Windows compared to the Mac. So we'll just stay outside of expert mode because that's when I really screw things up. 1.8 standard gamma is what Apple uh, all Apple displays have or all OS 10 dis uh, displays hooked into OS 10 have. I change it to a 2.2 television gamma since to me the 1.8 standard gamma is a little blown out. See if you guys can tell the difference. See how it kind of dimmed down just a little bit? It To me, the, the colors are much more vibrant uh, with the 2.2 television gamma. And I'm sure like photographers and display freaks will be like, No! What are you doing? You're wrong! Ah! Okay. Uh, appearance. Well, I'll go in and tweak all that stuff later. What, what do you guys want to see first? What should I do? Ah. Run software update, Chris. Run it. Run it. Got dot .mac. I'm good there. What now? Time machine? Why would I back up Time a stock? Why would I back up a stock install? Why? Why would they I even want to see the spacey goodness? Eh. I'll worry about time machine later. I'm getting. I'll, I'll worry about time machine when I get the uh, air uh, port thing. What, what's it called again? Oh, the time capsule. That's coming. I guess at the end of the month when they ship. Um, all right, well, let's open up, uh, like, a, an activity monitor or something like that. What is it? Uh, control, option, A full-screen quick-time movie. No. A full-screen quick-time movie. Movie trailer or something. Well, I guess I can go to open Safari. Boy, I just 1080p. But I just clicked it once. Apple loads in, like, a heartbeat. Okay, so let's go to... Which movie trailer should we watch? Iron Man? Of course, I might get in trouble. Oh, there we go. Wall E. Isn't that Pixar? They'll be happy if I play it. Yep. Okay, so yep, I've got Pixar. the option view trailer large, view trailer in 1080p. I don't really have a 1080p. Well, we can try 1080p. I'll try it. It'll take me about an hour to download. It'll take me about um, Choose a size uh, to play. Jake Jarvis has a good point. What is, Go to about this Mac to see if all your RAM is there. Oh, sure. No problem. Well, considering how fast everything is launching, I, I don't think I have an issue with how much RAM is, is actually there. About this Mac, um, 16 gigs, 800 megahertz, DDR2, FB dims, 2, 3.2 gigahertz, quad-core Intel Xeons. Of course, here's a nice little trick. If I want to get directly to the system profiler, I can hold on to the option key while clicking the Apple logo. And instead of about this Mac, it defaults to system profiler. So I can jump directly to it. Let's just scoot over there. I got plenty of resolution to deal with. Uh, it's taking a while to download, of course, because I am on Comcast. However, it should be playing. Yeah, it's playing. My, the sound is not going to work very well. But display-wise, um, I got to tell you, it's beautiful. It's slick. It's running well. Fortunately, like I said, though, I need a sound card. This is depressing. I need a sound card. Don't worry. Like I said, it's coming. So uh, what else do you want to know about the system before I shut down this video? Uh, since now we've successfully booted her up for the first time, uh, I will run updates. Those tend to be a little boring. And I hate, I hate the fact that Safari was that big. I, I like my browser like this. I'm old school. And I know I have a lot. Or you can maximize the screen resolution. I don't want to. Um see here. No hardware RAID. I didn't bother with it. Graphics. I'm good. NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT. Firewire. I got my built-in hub. And hey, uh, do, you have, uh, do you have iDVD in your uh, dock? Well, it's I. yeah. I think I do. Hang on. Where is Launch it? it. See how long it takes. Do I? I don't see it. I don't have it in the dock, but it's definitely in spotlight. So one, two, two bounces. Create a new project, migrate DVD in documents. We'll create a standard. What should it, how long should it take, Buana? Did you, is this what you mean you it's wanted me two, to go through? It's not two bounces here. Well, it's two bounces here. It's more like eight bounces. <laughs> really? real test is going to be a virtual machine 
And camp twice, twice. Uh, Eastern. Hey, what? Do you have any What? Do you have I am open anywhere? Hang on, babe. All right, I just quit that. Um, there's the trailers. It, I I don't know. I quit quick time though. There's Safari. You're out of here. Oh, the application Safari quit unexpectedly. Let's report that to Apple. But I tell you, it crashed quick. I mean, I I you know I tell you. It renders pages quick, and it crashes even quicker. That's impressive. Because usually it takes a while to crash. You know, it takes like five seconds. That one only took like two seconds to crash. Fine. What, babe? I'm geeking okay, out. I know you are, but I am trying to work, and I need to ask you a password. I can't do that over vent, which means I'm asking you, is your I am open? Ponzi? I'm on a different operating system right now. I don't have my IM yet. I haven't installed Adium. Just give me a minute. I'll come downstairs. I'm not using Windows. I know, but you have your other MacBook Pro open, which is always open, so I figured your MacBook... Well, I can do something in chat, but I'm not going to... Chat, but... Oh, jeez. Well, then the nice so thing is, let's see, it detected just about everything. It detected my printer. It detected my... Um, wow, it detected everything. Detecting the printer, I don't know if, how well it's going to support scanning on this thing, but it's got a URI. Detecting my disk burner. Uh, software updates. Show details. Mac OS update. Um, what else did it figure? Hang on, I'm, I'm seeing what it picked up, babe. There's the DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flash card reader. Flash card reader? I have a flash card reader? Oh, yes, I do. On the side of this yeah, monitor, it's plugged in by USB. Going. Okay, hang on, babe. I'm just, I'm excited. I, I just, I'm just excited that it figured everything out without asking for a disc to install. Woohoo! I wish my husband would figure out that I can't do my work until he comes and tells me this number. Fine, guys. I'm going to close this video, but I'll be right back, and then we're going to start taking live calls. We're open 24 hours a day. Thank you. Streaming video and audio, helping people with their tech questions. We've been doing it for about a year now. Um... It's a lot of fun to do, especially when I get to play with the community. And uh, now it's a chance for you to interact with me when I open up the phone lines. We record about five videos to YouTube every day. Uh, our channel together, we're subscribed. About 71 most subscribed on YouTube. Perez Hilton's number 70, so we got a few, uh, few more to catch up to him. Uh, but we'll make it sooner or later. But of course, as long as he doesn't move any further. No matter. Uh, you're welcome to join us in our chat room. Is always open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo. Dot com. We'll see you later.